This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rentgen. the show where we lasso up all the rumors from the week, put them all together in a nice little package so you can know the four or five stories that came out that you might have missed. If you're thinking about getting a new phone and you're not sure what the rumor mill is saying, this is the show to watch. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with the iPhone 5S or the next generation iPhone. Apple's kept true with the S model, the 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S. It makes sense to believe the next iPhone will be called the 5S. What doesn't make sense is that production is allegedly set to begin in early 2013. That doesn't mean we're going to see the phone in early 2013. It just means they're going to start making them, testing them. I wouldn't expect to see a new iPhone until May, June-ish time frame, but already work at the next one. Supposedly, the time frame has been pushed up a little bit due to iPhone 5 production delays. They can't make them fast enough. Too many phone buyers out there want to get their hands on a new 4-inch screen. If you can't get your hands on a new iPhone, you might want to try some of the alternatives out there. Windows Phone 8 and Android, of course, are waiting to be adopted by you. They're just sitting there, lonely, hoping that you pick them up. If you're like me and you've been wanting to get one of those slim, sexy new iMacs, your hopes and dreams are about to be dashed and smashed and smushed. New iMacs might be delayed until 2013, according to Apple Insider, citing a commercial source, which was French blog Mac Bidier. Claims that production of Apple's new iMac models might not be ready for sales ahead of the lucrative holiday shopping season. There's speculation that the company's advanced welding process is to blame for the delay, which sucks. Advanced processes, but not going to get out on time. During Apple's quarterly earnings conference call, which was held right after the iMac's debut, Tim Cook said that there'd be a significant shortage of the all-in-one, but declined to offer really any more details on it. So, kind of doesn't make sense. They'd announce an awesome new product and all of a sudden be like, hey! Only 10 of you can buy them. Adding to the already high difficulty of manufacture, the iMac screen's lamination process, which essentially just eliminates the 2 millimeter gap of air between the display and the front glass. But I'll take a 2 millimeter thicker computer if I can just get it out on time. In August, KGI analyst Ming-Chi Kuo reported that the process is more involved with the 27-inch model and would cause supply constraints for the initial batch of machines. And it looks like... He was right. Current availability of the desktop so still remains unchanged in Apple's online store. It still shows a November launch for the 21-inch model and a December launch for the 27-inch model. So that hasn't changed yet. So until that changes, take this with a giant grain of salt. And hopefully I'm wrong. If you ask my wife, it happens more often than you think. So are you one of the 3 million people that picked up one of them damn hot and sexy Galaxy Note 2s and you're loving that multi-window feature? To take it over to your friends that have an S3 and you laugh at them? Ha <laughs> ha, sucker, you don't have that. Well, it looks like you're not going to be able to do that for that much longer. The multi-window feature is coming to the Samsung Galaxy S3. According to TG Spot, the Note's convenient multi-window experience will arrive in an over-the-air update that's later to hit before the year's up. Not that many days left before the year's up, so supposedly you'll get it very soon. And hopefully when Jelly Bean finally hits your phone, at least for us here in the US. International folks have had it for a while even shipped with Jables in Australia. So you've been reading about Windows Phone 8 if you checked out our review on the HTC 8X, the Lumia 920, and you're dying to get your hands on a Windows Phone 8 device for yourself, and you're on Verizon, well, I might have good news for you. Supposedly, free Windows Phone 8 devices will be making their way to Verizon, of course, on a two-year contract. Verizon's reportedly looking to fill out its Windows Phone 8 device lineup with a device totally free on contract before the year is up. In addition to the HTC Windows Phone 8X, which is $199, and the Lumia 822, which is $99, Verizon's going to give customers the opportunity to pick up a free Windows Phone 8 handset. Not sure what it's going to be, but perhaps it'll be the Ativ Odyssey by Samsung. Uh, it's a really solid handset. Feels like a Galaxy S2-ish in a Windows Phone 8 package. But if you're looking to get a cheap phone, they're getting cheaper than free, no one's gonna hold you for the next two years and you want Windows Phone 8, Verizon folks, looks like your wait is going to be very short. Let me take a quick minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite Online Backup. Carbonite Online Backup is automatic cloud backup for your computer files at your home office or small business. Just set it up once and Carbonite will protect your computer files so that you can stay focused on running your business. No hardware is required at all. With Carbonite, getting your lost files back is easy peasy. Your employees can even access their backed up files on their smartphone or iPad or they free Carbonite app any better than free. 
Carbonite is a better backup plan for your home office or small business. Start your free trial at Carbonite.com. Enter code TECHNO and you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. Again, that's Carbonite.com and the offered code is TECHNO for two free months of online backup security. Can't put a price on peace of mind? Go ahead and check out Carbonite.